So Lego goes up in value over time after it retires. And on this channel, we talk about Lego investing. That is buying sets and holding them for a while after they retire. And then when the value goes up, we sell them again. Recently, we've been talking a lot about 2021 retired Lego sets. These are sets that came to the end of their shelf life at the end of 2021. And already we're seeing some of those values go through the roof. Incredible investments for anybody who got involved last year. But now, of course, it's time to look at 2022. Let's look at some sets that are going to retire this year in 2022 that should be on our radar as Lego investors. We will start to buy some of these sets before the end of the year, before they retire, and then we hold them as an investment. So what sets are retiring this year? Well, there's a long, long list of them, and you can actually get the list of sets that are going to retire at the end of this year. In the description below, you can actually download the entire retirement list of Lego sets. And with that, let's jump in and start looking at some sets that are retiring this year. Now, of course, it is a long list of sets that are retiring, so we can't talk about them all in one single video. I just picked a handful of different sets that I'm just gonna talk a little bit about. So this is a list of 15 different sets that are supposedly retiring in 2022 that will very likely grow in value. And if you like these videos about Lego investing, please hit that like button below. It's really, really helpful for the channel. And of course, we're starting off with the Razor Crest, right? An incredible Star Wars set. This is Lego Star Wars. We're kicking off things here. The Razor Crest is a $130 Lego Star Wars set. And of course, this is an exclusive set. So in the US, it is exclusive to Amazon. So you cannot find this in Walmart or Target or other stores. You can only get it on Amazon or Lego directly. It's a $130 set, currently temporary out of stock. Uh, it's set number 75292 with uh, 1,023 pieces inside of this one. And of course, the five minifigs. Now, what do I think about the Razor Crest? Well, I think this set is gonna take off, no pun intended. Because it's an exclusive set, it means that there's less of them ever manufactured, although I think there still is a lot of them manufactured because Amazon do not seem to be running out of stock. But when this set did go out of stock on Amazon at the end of 2020, the price jumped up to somewhere over $400 on this one. Now, some of that was caused by the fact that this set was actually restricted for a lot of Amazon sellers because it was an Amazon exclusive. A handful of sets were restricted for Amazon sellers, and this is one of them. It has been recently opened up for a lot of people, so now more people can sell it. But at that time, when it had such a price jump, there were less people that were actually eligible to sell it, so the supply was artificially low. I don't expect it to jump like that in retirement again, but I do expect this set to do very, very well. Now, another reason that it's going to do so well is because it is never discounted, right? The only time you can really get the Razor Crest at a good discount is during Prime Day when they have a waiting list and you can only get a maximum of one, or you can get it with gift or purchases or Lego VIP points at the Lego store. So the fact that it is not discounted frequently means that the marketplace, the aftermarket, will start at a higher level. When sets are frequently discounted 30-40% off, then there's more lowball sellers on them after they retire. But if the set is not frequently discounted like the Razor Crest, then the aftermarket is going to start at a higher point and who knows where it will go from there. So I am a fan of the Razor Crest. I think this set will do well. Now, it took me a little longer to get through one set than I expected, so I'm not going to be able to go into that much detail on all 15 of these different sets. So let's move on here. Next up, we have another Star Wars set. This is a 501st Legion Clone Troopers. The Clone Troopers Battle Pack, as some call it. It comes with four Clone Troopers and two droids incredible battle pack if you are building armies and as we've seen with previous battle packs these can do very very well in the aftermarket the demand will likely continue on these and the supply it will be high for a while but eventually it will start to diminish on this it's a 30 dollars set it is set number 75280 with 285 pieces and i'm pretty sure this one's going to do quite well now this one was supposed to be sticking around into 2023 but some rumors recently are saying that this has actually been moved forward and will be retiring at the end of 2022 we don't know for sure and everything is subject to change but that is the latest information on the 501st legion clone troopers next up we move on to lego ideas and we have of course the tree house notorious set in the world of lego investing talked about a lot in the communities this is a 200 dollars lego idea set and the reason of course people talk so much about this is because it is such a unique and incredible looking set just look at the build it looks amazing it is a highly displayable set it will look great on a shelf but also it's got a lot of playability and it is rare for sets to have both of those things at the same time 
This set pulls it off beautifully. It's also got interchangeable leaves. It just looks amazing. And the demand is quite high on this set. And when it was hard to find at some points during 2020, the price did kind of skyrocket on this one. It is 21318, that's the set number, and it has 3,036 pieces. It's finally scheduled to retire at the end of 2022. There were rumors about it retiring back in 2020, and it stuck around until now, but the time has come for the treehouse. Up next, we have another LEGO idea set. This is the ISS, the International Space Station. I love NASA and space-based sets. They can do really well as a sub-theme, even if it's different themes, like LEGO City has a lot of space sets, and there's gonna be more coming out this year, and they can actually do pretty well. So we have a $70 set here, and it is 21321 with 864 pieces in it. So a lot of collectability on this one. You could pair it with the Saturn V rocket, the space shuttle, and a handful of other space sets. I'm a big fan of the ISS as a collector, and I do feel like the demand is gonna continue on this one for a while. Next up, we have Harry Potter. There are a few Harry Potter sets that I think are gonna be great investments this year. I can't highlight them all here, but I think this is one of them. This is Fox. Dumbledore's Phoenix, a $40 set. And honestly, this and the Hedwig set both look like they are a little bit more than a $40 set. Really amazingly designed sets. They look fantastic. Fox will be featured in the upcoming Fantastic Beasts movie, which is a spin-off from Harry Potter. So the demand on this set is probably gonna go up this year. Now, I wish that that movie was coming out the following year after this set had already retired because then all of that increased demand would go to the third-party market. That's not gonna happen. The increased demand is gonna go to the retailers just like the Aston Martin. Martin but regardless I'm pretty sure this set will do quite well especially at a $40 price point there is a long way for this to grow before it starts to feel overpriced in my opinion it is set number 76394 with 597 pieces it's also exclusive to certain retail stores so i'm pretty sure that the supply on this one will be pretty low next up in harry potter i had to mention the hogwarts castle now that doesn't mean i'm going to invest heavily in hogwarts castle because it is a 400 set you've heard me say many times before that i don't usually invest at that price point but I know people who do it very, very successfully, and this one will definitely be a good investment for anybody who likes to buy high price sets like that. For any Harry Potter Lego collector, they are eventually gonna need this set. And after it retires, I think this is gonna be in people's memory for a very long time. They've been releasing $100, $120 sections of the Hogwarts Castle, but this is the only place you can get a more complete build out of the castle. Now it's not entirely complete and you can get a mock to extend it and finish it, but it's the best that they're probably gonna be able to do inside one Lego set. And even to fit this much of the castle into a single set, they had to shrink the scale. So they can't build it at minifig scale. They had to make it a lot smaller than that. So I find it hard to imagine that we're gonna have a better depiction of the entire Hogwarts castle in a single set for a very long time after this one retires. It is a $400 set temporarily out of stock. 71043 is the set number with 6,020 pieces in it. I still have one of these sitting in the box that I'm planning to build as soon as I know that I'm going to have a week with nothing else to do because I'm really excited about building this thing but it seems pretty daunting. This one is definitely going to do very very well. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning to invest in this set. I would be interested to hear. Next up we have Lego Technic. So we have the Porsche 911 RSR finally going to retire. It's an amazing set and these large scale Lego Technic supercars they just look so great together. There's a lot of collectability with these sets. And with the $150 price point, but still being able to sit next to the Lamborghini or the Bugatti, I think this one has a lot of space to actually grow in value. This is $150 available now, 42096 as a set number and 1580 pieces in this one. So I think this Porsche is gonna do quite well, but right now I just want it to retire. I just want it gone. Uh, finally. So moving on now, we have a creator expert set. This is the Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. Like I said, I really like space sets. I'm a space nerd in general. So the Lunar Lander always caught my attention. Amazing looking set and the fact that it is creator expert of course means that the detail in this set is fantastic. It's a hundred dollar creator expert set 10266 with 1087 pieces. Now I love the $100 price point for creator expert sets because I feel like they have some room to grow. They feel like more premium sets and premium builds geared towards adults a lot of the time. So a lot of the time it's not difficult for me to see these prices getting to 200, 250, 300 dollars. This is a theme that people are more willing to spend on in my opinion. So I think this one will do quite well. And what else do we have in the creator expert theme? Of course, 
we have to talk about the modular building. So we have the bookshop, Creator Expert Bookshop is planned for retirement this year, $180 set. It is set number 10270 with 2,504 pieces. When this set was released, I was sure that I was gonna buy one for personal build because I actually have a book business. I sell books on Amazon, just like I sell Lego. So this one really spoke to me, of course, but it kind of looks similar to the Parisian restaurant and the detective's office, and I have both of those on the shelf behind me. So I couldn't really justify getting this one. And other people may have that same feeling because if you've been collecting some of the previous modulars, you might feel that the bookshop is a little too similar to some of the other modular buildings. And maybe instead you wanna buy the corner garage or the boutique hotel which are very unique and different but that said a bookshop of course needs to be in your lego city so i feel like city builders are going to be picking this set up demand will continue for sure and as we've seen with modular buildings they can do pretty well next up we have ninjago and there are a lot of ninjago sets that i'm a fan of but i'm just going to talk about one of them briefly here because it is a little bit more interesting than all of the rest it is of course the Ninjago City Gardens. This is the $300 massive, massive Lego Ninjago set. This is the follow-on from Ninjago City Docks and Ninjago City, which is selling for more than $900 right now on Amazon. So this one has the potential to do very, very well. Part out value on this set is incredibly high. So the value you get for this $300 Lego set is incredible. It has such a massive amount of minifigs inside of the box, 19 different minifigs in this Lego set. So this is set number 71741 with 5,685 pieces in Ninjago City Gardens. This one is scheduled to retire at the end of 2022. And if history is anything to go by, I expect this one will do pretty well and will grow a lot in value. Next up, we have Lego Batman. And of course, we have to highlight the 1989 Batwing, which is retiring at the end of 2022, following on from the 1989 Batmobile that just retired at the end of 2021 and is already growing a lot in value and outperforming a lot of other sets that retired at the same time. This, of course, is set number 76161 with 2,363 pieces, a $200 Lego set. And of course, it is Batman, but it's definitely geared towards adults. You can tell immediately by the black packaging, but also the, the fact that this is 1989, it's gonna appeal more to the older Batman fans versus the younger crowd. And as we know, adults have more disposable income, so I expect that this one could grow quite a bit from that $200 price point and would still have a lot of demand. Next up we have Minecraft. This is the modern treehouse $120 Minecraft set which is quite expensive for the theme but I think this is guaranteed to be a winner. It just stands out among the crowd of Minecraft sets. Treehouse sets in general can do quite well and Minecraft as a theme can do incredibly well. When you have two amazing worlds collide like we did with the Minecraft pirate ship then we should be paying attention. And it's got tons of animals and minifigs inside this one as well. This is one that I will be watching. Next up, of course, we have to mention Architecture. Tokyo is scheduled to retire this year. That is the Skyline Tokyo set. $60 set, 21051 with 547 pieces. It is one of the most colorful Skyline sets. And in my opinion, one of the best looking Skyline sets. And I think the demand will be quite high on this one. And of course, as we've seen with Skyline sets, they have the potential to do very, very well. Next up, we have Jurassic World. And there, again, there's a handful of different sets that I think have a lot of potential in this theme that are retiring this year. But just taking one example here, we have the T-Rex Dinosaur Fossil Exhibition for $30. Now, as we've seen with the Dinosaur Fossils Lego Ideas set, the demand is really, really high for this type of highly displayable dinosaur bones base set. And this one retails for half the price, but still looks amazing. And also, of course, that T-Rex bone display from the Jurassic Park films is an iconic scene that a lot of fans of the series will want to put on their shelves. So I think this one is gonna have continued demand for a long time. It is set number 76940, just 198 pieces inside this one, but I still feel like it has some potential. Now I do need to call out that a lot of the Jurassic World sets values are increased because of the dinosaurs that exist within them. This one has a baby Triceratops in it that only appears in this set. Now it remains to be seen whether there's a lot of demand for that baby Triceratops part, 
but there's definitely going to be low supply on it so it could drive up the price on this one just a little bit now i'm going to close out here with speed champions i need to mention it again there's a handful of speed champion sets retiring that are going to do pretty well as investments but just picking one example from my own personal preference this is not based on sales data or supply data or anything like that i love the look of this set i love the shape of the gr super in general this is set number 76901 with 299 pieces and honestly i just feel like this design is a step up above the others in my personal opinion i think this is the best example we've seen so far of what the increased size on speed champion sets to the eight stud size can actually help us to achieve with these designs this set just looks really incredible i'm definitely going to be building one for my personal collection and i'm probably going to be investing in this set as well these were just some sets that caught my eye that i'm interested in that i know the community is talking about and interested in some sets that we should be paying attention to one way or another this is not a list of sets that i am personally investing in some of them i am others i am not i will be making videos in the future that break down more specifically sets i'm actually investing in but this is 15 sets that in my opinion if you invested in you're gonna do quite well there are a lot of of other sets retiring of course so make sure you grab that retirement list in the description below if you want to check those out hit that subscribe button when you're down there if you want to catch the next video and with that i'm shane from brickbox.net thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one